is Kunan Matharsan. I'm medical director for Bloom Cardiovascular Institute South Region of Northwestern Medicine. I'm also a sports cardiologist. We're heading into the dog days of summer and this is the extreme heat where people can really run into trouble if they're exercising outdoors. So I want to talk a little bit today about different things that we can do to beat the heat and be very mindful of our health as we're exercising outdoors in extreme heat. So one of the things that happens to our bodies when we're in extreme temperatures or in heat is our blood vessels themselves actually remodel to some degree. One of the things that blood vessels do is really help your body get rid of excess heat. And so what happens in the summer and the winter time, your capillaries and your various blood vessels dilate and they can move closer to the surface or move away from the surface to help you either conserve or get rid of body heat. So that's a really important thing because it takes time for your body to adapt to a higher level of heat. Now, one of the things that you can think about is if, for example, you're running or jogging, to really moderate that pace that you take on when you do that exercise. So for example, if you're someone who's jogging at a nice 12 minute pace, you might want to slow that down to a 13 minute pace, give yourself some time for a water break, give yourself some time to walk. These are all different strategies you can use to adapt yourself to heat. So in closing, the main takeaway I want you to have is that any exercise is beneficial for you. Exercise outside is really healthy for your mind and body. And I want you to just feel very comfortable slowing down and taking your time because you're still getting that cardiovascular benefit. Don't get so hung up on how long you go or how fast you do it. Just focus on being outside and enjoying the great weather.